Hi there, I'm Neil. I'm with Alltrack. This is our valve station. Now, this valve station is a cellular station that can control two valves, monitor two pressure sensors, as well as a soil moisture sensor. Now, this valve can come pre-wired, or you can uh, put your own uh, sort of connector on the bottom. Um, and it also comes with the solar panel. So that solar panel is sized to wherever you are in the country. Uh, Northern latitudes need slightly bigger solar panels. And both the solar panel and the valve station have brackets on here that can affix to either uh, square tubing, uh, go around a pole with a hose clamp, uh, or if you just want to tack it straight to a piece of plywood or 4x4 with some nails, uh, it has holes for that as well. Uh, this device, these wires need to run to the valves. Um, and what they've done here is they've plumbed those down with some flex conduit and a junction box, uh, which I can show you in more detail uh, later. And the solar panel just has a single wire that runs down and feeds directly into our device. Now, if we open our device up, you'll see there's a battery in here. If you're in a warm climate, we use uh, this LFE battery. And if uh, you're in a cooler climate, we'll use an SLA battery, a lead acid battery. We also have a cellular modem here. And um, every device that we sell has a cellular modem in it. So there's no base station that you need to set up. There's no repeaters that you're gonna need to set up. All you do is you plug in that battery and you'll start seeing some lights. So one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do when you get your device out to the field is you're going to wanna to check for cell service. So every single one of our devices has a cellular modem in it and that connects to a small antenna in the corner here uh, and can be powered by this battery. So before you put it on a pole and hook up the solar panel, uh, it's great just to connect the battery. Uh, it's real easy here, just a Molex connector. You connect that and then you'll see a light here. So that green flashing light means it that's looking for cell signal. And when it turns blue, that means that it's found cell signal. And so there we go, turn green and shut off. So that means it found cell, cell signal uh, you can log into your app and see what the reading is uh, if you need to make any adjustments. Other than that, you're all set. Um, there are some switches in here as well that you can adjust for different voltage solenoids. Um, there's, that's all in the instruction manual. It's very easy. You just use a small screwdriver, flip the switches. Uh, this model is all pre-wired, and so you're not going to have to strip and put any wires in. But again, these headers are... Um, they're labeled so if you just want to use like a four conductor wire uh, you can put that straight up through one of these cable glands uh, into your valve station box this valve station is installed in the central valley of california on uh, some new almond plantings and they're using it to control two valves. Uh, the pump's over there with a reservoir. Uh, we also control that pump. And so the wires are, they came down and they decided to trench. Uh, so they actually disc this area in between the rows. And so they wanna make sure that our wires are down below the disking danger zone. Um, so they trenched over to each one and then they use this flex conduit uh, to come up to a junction box. And that's just to keep everything nice and tight um, and dry. The other thing they did is um, they made these removable. So when um, they're topping the trees uh, for pruning, uh, they might even be doing over the row harvesting here. And so they wanna make sure that uh, they can drop these down just so they're not mowing over the top of them. The reason that they're up so high is that you want your solar above the canopy so you get good sun. And then you also get better cellular reception if you're above the canopy. Because that canopy, you know, there's a lot of green foliage and that means there's a lot of water. And water attenuates the cellular signal. 
So you just want to make sure that you're above that. This is a square tubing they've used, and you'll see that they actually use two different sizes. Um, and so what they did is they put, I think this is two inch, and they dug a hole and dropped about two thirds of a sack of cement in the ground uh, with this. And then they slipped this uh, slightly uh, smaller tubing into this and just bolted it in place. And what that does is that allows them to remove this if they ever need to, um, you know, when they're trimming the tops of their trees um, or if they're doing harvesting and need to uh, move these for the time being. The valve station connects to the valve, the irrigation valve, and a pressure switch in this junction box. So they've trenched PVC from that valve station over here, pulled a couple uh, cables through and two of the conductors go to the latching solenoid right here. This is a 12 volt uh, latching solenoid or sustaining solenoid valve. Um, and then two of the wires come over to the pressure switch and that pressure switch is connected directly to the irrigation line. So when you turn the valve on and there's pressure in the irrigation line, then the switch will click over and you'll know that in the app. This is the pressure switch that is also connected to the valve station and the valve station can take two of these um, and you normally put it on the irrigation line that the valve is controlling. So this pressure switch has a seven PSI threshold and when the irrigation pressure or water pressure inside this line gets above seven, then this switch closes and our device gets a signal that the water's running. You can attach a soil moisture probe to our ST160 valve station. We use a Centec or EnviroPro probe, which give you instant readings. Uh, and they have a sensor every four inches. Uh, so this is about 18 inches long, uh, contains four sensors. And each sensor measures an area about the size of a basketball. So you're getting a really clear indication of what your soil moisture is at each stage. And these are real young plants, so you can get away with using a shorter probe. Um, if you, know, you have a larger tree or if you have vines, you might want to go with a longer probe. Once you've installed your valve unit, uh, you can log into the Alltrack app and view your valves here. So you can see the status, if they're on or off. If you click into a valve, you can see you know, what the run time was over the past week. Uh, you can see if it's scheduled. You can actually schedule that via this calendar view. And you can check other things like, you know, what's your signal strength? So if you put this up, do you need to move it? Do you need a booster antenna? Um, you can also check battery and your solar uh, voltage. You can also set up rules here um, so you can create new rules if the valve is on or off and you can go to settings and set up run reports. Uh, so that's more of a customer facing uh, feature where on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, they get a report that tells them about their irrigation, how long it ran, uh, if there are any issues and just helps them troubleshoot. Uh, under the settings, you can also invite users. Um, so you invite users via email and you can have a viewer, manager, or administrator account. Um, managers can, you know, make settings changes, set new schedules. Administrators have control over devices and moving devices around. Um, and viewers, you know, they can just view uh, what's in the app. 